Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and as you can see today we are going to speak regarding Warpets. I am doing one by one uh, updated Warpets guide about every single Warpet simply because after the introduction of the Warpet system a lot have been changed. Uh, even skill distribution starts on the skill, how you can exchange skills through pet to, to pet. Like generally almost every single system about Warpets got changed. That's why I decided to take a guides about the Warpets one by one, simply because uh, like the gameplay is uh, different, which was in the past. Uh, for now, we are going to speak about Golden Rock, which is basically cavalry uh, Warpet. I have already done Warpet guides one by one. Uh, the Snow Peak Rock, Sapphire Fair Drake, Berserker, uh, both bears. Uh, and Nitro. Today we are going to speak about Golden Rock, which is pretty interesting uh, warped, especially for uh, cavalry units. I know uh, cavalry units are not one of the strongest legion types in the game, but uh, we st still have Golden Rock. That's why we will speak more uh, deeply how you need to build the Golden Rock and generally what kind of strengths this warped has. As always, I'm going to speak uh, regarding base attributes. Um, legendary Warpets are much, much stronger. Try to get Legendary Warpets because uh, Regeneration Potions are really easy to get through the events. And also, in on the map, there is like 44 level Warpets which will help you to get a better quality uh, pet in general. So try to get Legendary one. The difference is pretty high. Uh, like if you're gonna compare the Elite one to Epic and the Legendary one, you're gonna see the tiers. S tier with the highest, then is A tier, and so on. So try to get at least epic, and then uh, you will try your best to get to the legendary one. The base attributes, the most important attributes for the Golden Rock are strength, agility, and luck. So your main priority should be to get the highest amount of uh, stats on strength, agility, and luck. Uh, that's like the main idea. Strength, agility, luck is important because... The skills which we're gonna build around the Golden Rock will be uh, determined by those uh, attributes, which means higher the attribute stats is, the better the skills will be effective in the battlefield than in general uh, during the fighting. So, strength, agility, luck, try to get S tier, and it will be the highest amount of attributes on those, um, like those ones. The main uh, skill uh, is called Exuberance, uh, Attack range is near, like uh, already, it's all about cavalry. Grant your legion passion, rage accumulation speed 5 plus 5% 5 for 5 seconds. If your legion already has passion, your, your warpet deals damage to target legion. So, like, uh, the most important, uh, like, trick for the cavalry units are rage accumulation. Like, more rage you're gonna accumulate and more... Uh, skill damage factor you will gonna use during the battlefield more damage you are going to apply to enemy so like synergy is pretty simple like it's very very easy to understand that exuberance is especially good for the cavalry units and of course we need to speak about the star of the warpet uh, since the updates uh, for the warpets uh, like we can have like at least one star uh, main skill and the difference is pretty huge that's why don't start building your pet until you will get one star on your main skill. That's exactly what I'm doing. Um, I got this Snow Peak Rock one star and I'm gonna build it. I got this uh, Night Rock one star and I'm gonna build it. Like as you can see, like I'm trying my best to get at least one star on my main uh, war pet. So that would be my main advice. I know it might get tricky because it's not easy to get this star on the main skill because that's like purely about the luck uh, but generally if you are playing the game if you are doing your daily quests every reset in the end you are going to get this uh, main skill to the one star and after that you're gonna build this skill so like golden rock how i would build the golden rock in the future if i have got the one star i will tell you and of course i will be interested to see about your opinion um, regarding this warped so exuberance Great skill, especially for the cavalry units, which is determined by agility. And as I said, strength, agility, and the luck is the uh, main attributes for the Golden Rock. 
Uh, of course, I'm going to finish the exuberance synergy, which is uh, pre pretty easy to understand. There is not much to explain. Uh, the second skill is determined by luck. Uh, it's a feral exuberance. Grant your legion rage and heal them while when they casting exuberance. Uh, rage, like another edition of the rage and healing factor. Everybody knows that uh, Bakshi has a uh, vigor, which is a generally healing factor. So, like another another synergy towards the cavalry heroes. Uh, of course, the third synergy is forceful exuberance, which is determined by agility, exuberance damage dealt plus in percentages. So. Uh, the first kill is determined by agility, third is agility, and the second one is luck. Which means we have an option to add one more agility uh, skill and two more luck skill. So, like, this is the main uh, synergy of this skill. Uh, every warpath has at least one synergy in, in, the, in its own uh, skill, skill set. So, how would I continue to build this warpath if I had one star, right? The ob like, uh, choice is pretty obvious. It's a cavalry warpath. So, first attack uh, will be amazing, determined by strengths. Uh, we have not used strengths at all. So, it's a free uh, skill for the golden rock, uh, your warpath has a 40% chance to deal damage to the target when your deputy casts a rage skill. Like, it's pretty easy to understand that synergy is great, right? Like, from exuberance you are get, getting uh, rage accumulation speed up to 5%. In general, cavalry heroes are giving the rage accumulation speed, that's their main, uh, like, skill set. And, uh, like, whenever your uh, deputy is casting a uh, rage skill, you are getting a chance to deal more damage. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to understand. First attack is purely for uh, like exuberance and cavalry units. After that, of course, I'm gonna continue with first attack uh, skill set. And the second skill will be super first attack. Uh, first attack trigger chance in percentages and determined by luck. Uh, we have on only used one luck skill. This will be the second one. That's why I really, really like the... Uh, like uh, in general first attack combination with the golden rock the third synergy of the first attack is like pretty easy to understand we are just just going to uh, look at the forceful first attack uh, first attack damage dealt plus percentage determined by agility which means this will be the last uh, skill we're gonna use as an agility skill because you can only use one, like three skills of the same attribute on a one uh, on the same orbit. So, uh, with the forceful first attack, we finished the agility tree uh, of the golden rock. Like this is like I think main two synergy skills which you hundred percent should apply on golden rock. And after that, like there is a. Uh, like it depends on your gameplay how you are going to build uh, the golden rock if i were you i would 100% um, go with like more strengths uh, like uh, fatal bite because we have free strengths uh, skill set crit damage in percentages when a warped skill deals physical damage as we know like um, if we are going to use a golden rock with the cavalry heroes and they in general have rage accumulation like this exuberance is going to deal a damage uh, simply because like even Emerys and even Bakshi has the rage accumulation. That's why Fatal Bright will be a great addition to the um, like a golden rock. And after that I can like easily say crit rate when a warped skill deals physical damage determined by luck. Uh, luck is our main priority and we have a free luck skill to add to the golden rock. So this is how I would build my um, warped. Uh, I would go with exuberance uh, three skills together. After that, I'm gonna go with first attack, uh, like three skills together, and then like um, fatal bite, blood roar, and of course, if you have your own idea how you are playing with the cavalry, um, like units in general, you can add the preferable style to the golden rock. Now, like regarding most important when we are speaking about war pets, is a hero pairs. I already mentioned that Golden Rock is especially good for the cavalry heroes, especially for Emerys and Bakshi, simply because uh, Emerys is like a uh, rage accumulation speed uh, like hero, like Emerys' main job is to use the main skill as much as possible, to accumulate rage as fast as possible, and it's kind of the same with the 
uh, Bakshi simply because Bakshi also have 30% uh, rage accumulation. As I said on Exuberance, you have a healing factor on a second synergy skill, and like in general, like it's pretty easy to understand that synergies are pretty obvious. Uh, Golden Rock should be used on Emrys or Bakshi or Bakshi and Emrys, depending on your playstyle, which one you want to be the primary hero. And of course, the new edition uh, for on deal, of course, you're gonna be using. Um, Golden Rock on Forondil 2, uh, simply because Forondil is one of the best cavalry heroes in the game currently. That's why I would recommend to use Golden Rock on Forondil, on uh, Emrys, on Bakshi, even on Thea, depending on which faction you are playing. If you are playing with Spring Wardens, which means Spring Wardens special unit is Cavalry Eagles, um, that's why, like in general, I would not recommend to use Golden Rock in any other hero pairs because strictly it's a great addition to the cavalry uh, units. Like synergy is pretty simple, pretty easy to understand. That's why I'm not going to speak about other like tricky hero pairs, which uh, Golden Rock might be popular. Of course, Theodore Theodore is a cavalry hero, and you can use. Uh, golden rock on him unfortunately like theodore is only for pay to win players and i am as a hundred percent free to play player not spending even a zero even a one dollar on this game i don't have pay to win heroes that's why i am not going to speak more deeply about theodore and theodore's synergy with golden rock uh, this was the main idea why i wanted to speak about golden rock pretty straightforward hero uh, as warpet especially for the cavalry units uh, like i want you guys to remember try to get one star uh, main skill and then start to build around the warpet uh, the build uh, so far that's all i wanted to speak about this uh, Warp it. Um, I'm gonna continue making guides uh, one by one. Like we have left a couple of warpets, especially lizards like Sandra Lizard, Ice Lizard, which we need to update those guides too. Um, yep, so far, thanks for watching. If you like the video, if you like the content in general and the live stream, uh, press like, comment, share, subscribe. That's your wish. I'm not comfortable asking you guys about that uh, because that's your decision if you like the content. Uh, what I can do, I can continue making what I have been done past six to seven months. Uh, it's been pretty fun following this game because we are having great updates. Uh, my server will be on a season TI next season in two weeks and then will be a lot more uh, great and a lot more informative uh, videos for you guys. So far, thanks for watching, thanks for likes, thanks for comments and thanks for subscribes. Um, I wish you have a great day, morning, evening, depending on the time zone. So far, thanks for watching, bye bye, I'm gonna see you very very soon. Bye bye.